Hey everyone, Sumo Spiffy here. This breakdown is for Kirishima's match against everyone's favorite little big man, Midori Fuji. Kiri has a 4-1 advantage in the head-to-head -head and would normally be considered a huge favorite against Midori, but do Midori's chances look any better after Kiri was unable to stop Tobizaru from overpowering him? Let's figure it out. Midori gets a huge jump, which leaves Kiri unable to do much on the Tachi Eye except absorb his charge. That's not a huge deal though, since Midori delivers less impact than anyone else Kiri's used to dealing with. But it's a setup. Midori uses his initial advantage to push Kiri's left arm to the inside, and when Kiri forces his body to twist back against the push, Midori pushes that same arm back to the outside. This doesn't trigger alarm bells for Kiri because it's a sensible defense. His hand is on Midori's jaw, and this is Midori's way of freeing himself from the push. But when Kiri sensibly responds by charging inside to grapple, Midori allows Kiri to clamp his right arm before pulling all his weight in that direction. Kiri's clearly not ready for it, gets off balance, and Midori gets his left hand over top of the shoulder to complete the Katasukashi. This is both Midori's brilliance and his weakness. He's masterful at committing to unusual finishing moves like this and sticking them, but the more his opponents see him, the less likely these ideas are to work. Notice that Kiri's starting much farther back, likely in case Midori decides to try more shenanigans. This Tachi Eye starts out even, which is almost entirely to Kiri's advantage. He slides back off the initial push, but then jams Midori all the way back to the rope with a couple of hand thrusts. Midori hits the rope and absorbs a face push, getting just enough of a parry on Kiri's left side to create an opening for him to dive into. This, however, leaves him in a very similar position to Tobizaru's in one of the fights we covered in that video. Kiri's got the belt over top with his right hand, and his left arm wrapped all the way under and around Midori's right arm, leaning his weight on Midori's head and upper back. Midori takes a couple small shots at getting something going, but there's nothing for him in this position. Midori's able to keep his feet for longer than Toby, and keeps up through the throw attempt for longer as well, but the result is the same. Kiri moves back up for this Tachi Eye. Right off the start, Midori is unable to keep Kiri off the belt, but he sticks to his strategy of trying to control Kiri's arms. If he can dislodge the grip, he might be able to work a throw, but even if he can't, pinching Kiri's arms makes him much less able to create his own offense. In a very real way, Kiri's figuring out how to play tug-of-war with Midori's belt. He can't realistically get any momentum going to the outside either way because Midori has solid control of those angles, and releasing either hand is very unlikely to afford him a chance at a more advantageous belt grip, so all he can do is push and pull. As so often happens in sumo, the battle comes down to one move and whether or not it works. In this case, Midori whips his arm over top of Kiri's head and tries to shift his right leg in front of Kiri's left to trip him up enough for the throw to work. But it's a little mistimed, he never makes good leg contact, and Kiri now has the control he needs to force Midori back and out. In March, we saw a new Midori using fundamentals en route to his 10-0 start. Here we see him continue his commitment to basic sumo principles, using his footwork to completely negate Kiri's early push attempt and stick directly on him all the way to the Tawara. Even with Kiri's good brace on the rope, the position doesn't look great for him. But when Midori gets him pushed up on one foot, he pulls a little mini crossover. He has to hop on his right foot to stay in, then he stomps and swings left as Midori is adjusting his weight in the opposite direction to create space for Midori to fall into. So how does this look for Midori Fuji? Before the Basho, I would have said he can definitely hang in with Kiri, but he doesn't have the skill advantage necessary to overcome Kiri's superior physical tools. Midori remains outstanding against people he can outmaneuver, even with his more fundamental approach, but as we saw in that last match, Kiri isn't a slouch with his footwork either. Tobizaru, however, made this not entirely healthy version of Kiri look like he might be vulnerable to the same type of little big man bull rush that Midori almost pulled off in May, even if Kiri doesn't give him the advantage of an ill-advised pull attempt. This is being written and recorded just after Kiri's win over Shodai. He looked good there, but he used a strategy that didn't create a lot of physical stress, so his health wasn't really tested. That being the case, I think we still have to accept Kiri as being the superior wrestler and very much the favorite, even if Midori's chances are better than usual. Alright, that'll do it for this breakdown. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.